Jenna Ortega is the latest victim of AI-generated deepfake. You saw AI images of you, generated images of you as a child, like the ones? Yes, of course. I hate AI. I see no beneficial, real ethical way this can be used by the majority of people using it. Jenna Ortega's parents pretty much set her up for scrutiny. She's an incredible actress and a stunning role model, but that doesn't stop creeps from preying on her, and Jenna's team is at fault for letting them reach her. This is a sad story, so let's get into it. This is disgusting, and I feel bad for Jenna Ortega because she's quitting Twitter after seeing explicit AI photos of herself, which it seems like AI is taking over in the worst way possible. I get so confused when it comes to AI. I mean, I like to think I'm somewhat technical, but I don't quite understand. Like, is it a person? It's obviously not a person, but like, is it one computer? Like, when I talk to ChatGPT, do they also, is it the same computer talking to other people? But this goes a lot further than a little ChatGPT because an interview with the New York Times revealed that she quit Twitter after seeing explicit images of herself generated by AI when she was a teenager. She also became inundated with messages from fans that ranged from disgusting to absurd. I feel like there are certain celebrities who get targeted more than others. Like Emma Watson has really gone through it and it seems like Jenna Ortega is the next big target. What do you think of AI? I hate AI. I mean, here's the thing, here's the thing. AI could be used for incredible things. I think I saw something the other day where they were saying that artificial intelligence was able to detect breast cancer uh, four years before it progressed. That's beautiful. Let's keep it to that. Yeah, let's keep it to that. But at what point, when does this thing have a mind of its own? She says, did I like being 14 and making a Twitter account because I was supposed to and then seeing dirty edited content of me as a child? Jenna remembered when she was 12 years old when she got her first direct message from a follower on social media. It was unsolicited photo of a man's wiener. And that was just the beginning of what was to come, which I feel like as a man, I could totally respect how my friends that are girls, like they have a way different experience online, like random creeps reaching out. Jenna said she deleted her Twitter about two to three years ago because of the influx after the show had come out. Just really disturbing images and there's no like policing on these platforms, so you can't just stop it. And it can't be a copyrighted image because it's AI, so it's like newly generated, so she can't go and copyright it and get it removed. It's a big headache that someone needs to figure out. She said it was disgusting. It made me feel bad. It made me feel uncomfortable. She claimed she deleted the platform because she couldn't even log in without seeing something about herself in a disturbing manner. She recalled being advised as a child to join online platforms to build her image, only to be inundated with disturbing content. Ortega admitted she is still learning to safeguard herself from online harassment. One strategy that has helped is avoiding the phone as much as she can. You can only avoid the phone so much, and honestly, that kind of goes back to her management team or her parents. I mean, what 13, 14 year old should be, 12 year old, should be like running their Instagram? I feel like they should have their parents running it if they're trying to build a social media career or some type of platform. She said it was so repulsive I was already in a confused state that I deleted it because it was unnecessary and I didn't need that. Hey, we've opened, here's the problem though, we've opened Pandora's box. Look, it is what it is, it's out there now. We're gonna have to deal with consequences. I would like it to be used with good intent, but we could say that about anything and everything. Um. You saw AI images of you, generated images of you, as a child, like the ones? Yes, of course. I just can't imagine how disturbing that must have been. Now, Jenna has been making the press rounds recently in support of her role in Tim Burton's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which I am excited for, especially after going just on Just Trish and seeing how like often she's dressing up. And, you know, she's a huge fan. So I personally have never seen it. I've, I know some of the songs from it. I've seen clips over the years. I get that idea, but this will probably be my first time really watching it. Now, Jenna got her first acting gig at nine years old, which opened her up to online harassment at a young age. She said, there's times that I regret it. There's times my 
parents will credit. Looking back, I wouldn't change anything. I mean, look at where you are now, but there's a lot of people who were trying to do what you're doing and did not end up in that position. She does acknowledge how difficult it is to be a child star. A lot of it's in hindsight because she said my free prefrontal cortex isn't even fully there technically, you know. I want to be making the mistakes and learning from them, falling on my face, and maybe the opposite, but she can't do that when you have a job, so you have to deliver. You can't mess up. I don't know if it was Jenna's parents or herself, but there was this strong drive to have her working, which I think is a red flag. Either way, here's a clip of her at seven years old rehearsing, so it's pretty much all she knows. Hi, my name is Jenna Ortega, and I'm seven years old. Right now, I'm going to show you my dramatic mom. Hey, mom. It's a cute clip, but again, it's kind of sad to see someone so young and so focused, and maybe it was her calling. I'd like to think that. She said social media, what it does to her age, it's a comparing game. It almost influences people bandwagon mentality. It's very manipulative. Okay. Now, before Jenna opened up about how AI drove her off the internet, there was actually a piece in 2022 that was targeted to Jenna and how her specific experience online was really disturbing. Posted in December 2022, the headline reads, AI version of Jenna Ortega raises concerns about I can't even say that word, <laughs> young women on social media, essentially exploiting them to the furthest degree using technology. A Twitter user, Crondale, shared two AI images of Jenna with the caption, I need her. It's difficult at first glance to see that these aren't real images of Jenna. They look exactly like her. And even though it wasn't her, it garnered a lot of attention and people believed it was. One person wrote, I really hope that Jenna Ortega, Billie Eilish, and any other women they're doing this to never have to see these because I can't imagine how damaging for your mental health health, it must be that men are getting off to fake images that transform you into an object. Another person wrote, the fact they're doing this to a girl who is mainstream famous for playing a 15 year old on TV is very telling. One of my big problems with AI is it's such a vague term. I can say AI this, AI that. Am I AI? Am I AI? I don't know. Am I AI? <laughs> but um, anything can be AI, right? Like, uh, I don't know. But this uh, TikToker explains a little bit of the dangers involved with AI and how advanced it could truly be. There are things like ChatGPT that can generate paperwork for you. Then there are image generators. Then there are like computer programs. Soon there will be home things. And I think iPhone announced that our phones will soon have ChatGPT. So soon you'll be interacting with it every single day. This is gonna scare you, but it's important that you know about it. Behind me, this woman that is talking, she is entirely AI generated and not just AI generated, she is generated from an image of a real person. And furthermore, this video, she is actually talking out loud in it. Let me show you it. That's the thing. When we say no to something, we're saying yes to something else. But that involves a lot of unknown. Personally, I see no beneficial, real ethical way this can be used by the majority of people using it. Just because the tech is around right now does not mean we should make these things. My mind goes to like, imagine if a foreign government hacked all of our systems and they created a fake thing with our president of him announcing something and it's not real and like we all believe it. That's so scary. Ever since Jenna Ortega starred in Wednesday, she's had a hard time because people just look at her as, you know, an object. Jenna wasn't prepared for the creepy subculture of fans who were fixated on her and outright exhibited predatory behavior. Entertainment figures can be seen as choosing this lifestyle and forced to feel like they're always on. For some, that means answering fan questions and being stopped for photos when they're just trying to enjoy dinner. For Jenna, she was deemed the sexy it girl, a role she was cast in before she reached the age of consent. A subreddit called Jenna Ortega Lust is one example. From violent fantasies to demand her for service from some commenters, it's overwhelming as a reader. We can't imagine it would be enjoyable for her to stumble across them. The sheer number of adults who are doing things to minors, even digitally, is staggering. Natalie Portman recently shared how the experience shaped her. In an honest and vulnerable note, she said that it led to lasting damage and she's not alone. Jenna Ortega is the latest victim of AI-generated deepfake. So before this, we had Taylor Swift, we had Bobby Altoff, now we have Jenna Ortega. So we officially have a pattern. First of all, it's horrifying. Imagine opening up a screen and seeing a 
the image of yourself. It's not you, but you can't even decipher if it's real or not. This is one of the downsides of what's happening with generative AI. And if we are not careful, there are tools now that enable you to digitally someone in a couple clicks. And this isn't just reserved for celebrities. This is actually happening in high schools all around the United States. It just happened in Beverly Hills and it's happening all around the world. What's really horrifying about what happened with Jenna Ortega is an app that enables you to digitally someone actually used her likeness without her consent and was essentially advertising their app with it on Meta, on Instagram and Facebook before it was taken down, according to these reports. The biggest thing I'll say here is the laws haven't caught up. Now, a lot of people have criticism of the Adams Family show, the remake on Netflix involving Wednesday, of course, played by Jenna Ortega. And I do think there is probably a wave of people who have taken this character and this actress and really exploited it in a nasty fan fiction way. One person added, if teenagers were attracted to her, it makes sense. She's attractive to other children, but grownups gross. Part of it is the fact is not a single one of the people's cast as a teenager is actually a teenager. I think ultimately AI will do some justice in a way by maybe replacing kids in these shows. So we won't need a seven-year-old Jenna to be rehearsing for anything because she won't have to go and pay her family's bills because uh, an AI will take over and then an AI may take over me. But can an AI like be, you know, can an AI be me? Can it? I don't know. Comment below. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys.